<coughs> All right, everybody. Um, if it's time, I shall have it. I posted, uh, I did a little post. Let me see if I can find it on Facebook. That was on the, I'll, I'll put the link anyway to those of you who are connected with on WhatsApp. On the 20th of May, 2020, around, I think that was about 8.06 a.m. And in it, I, I shared a post by a gentleman, I don't know, Michael Anthony. He had a photo of a gentleman whose wife was kneeling to present him food. And he, put, he wrote on it, ladies in the house, can you see love? And how many of these can do this for your man? Now, for me, this just did not um, agree with me. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad. I just wrote instead when I shared the photo. I said, I'm sorry. I know I'm supposed to be an African man. I am not saying our culture is bad in this regard. But I simply find it impossible to accept to have a female partner relating to me in this manner. Respect can be given without subservience. This is my personal view. Now, I hardly ever get many comments on my posts generally, you know, people just read through. But this time around, I had quite a number of several people saying some things. And um, basically, there seemed to be like some debate about whether or not, you know, it's, uh, there, some people were saying the, the advent of civilization in quotes, the white man's um, mode of living being forced on us had made us drop what's supposed to be part of our culture. You know, um, and some other people say, look, this is normal. There's nothing wrong with it and all that. Now, this is my own position. First of all, I have absolutely no problem with our culture. I actually love the Yoruba culture in particular, the African culture in general. And I know that respect being shown in an outward manner in terms of how you, for instance, for females to genuflect or to kneel, and males to prostrate and things like that and to, to use the proper language in speaking. I value those things a lot. However, a lot of things have changed in our society. One of the things that happened we've got in Western education, I am now kind of re-educating re myself to pay more attention to African culture and traditions because I find that they're very useful. So I'm trying to drop some of the Western education I got in terms of the ways of living to adopt more of what belongs to my own people. My problem with this photo, and what it supposedly suggests, the gentleman wrote and said, love. I don't believe that, that that shows love. I believe one of the things that has been done in our culture, and that's why I say it's contemporary Africa, is that it, there's been kind of societal pressure on members of the female gender to show respect to the male, people who belong to the male gender, especially their spouses, by being fearful of them. That was why we had a lot of uh, domestic violence being carried out by men in the earlier years. Now, a lot of things are changing now. There's been awareness and we're trying to train our, our young men to become different. But that's why we had a lot of domestic violence being mainly committed by men and women being the victims. It's changing now, like I said, a lot. And so it was more fear so, because there was a fear of you getting beaten up by your man or you having society literally stigmatizing you because you did not behave in a manner that's expected of a woman to a man, which means being subservient. And I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. There's a lot of things in the African culture from like, I don't know, 10, five decades ago that made women to be kind of, even look at the politics, we're trying to change all of that. Now, that's what I'm saying. Women were put in the back seat. I have never liked that. Maybe because of my exposure too. I'm not the only one that got exposed to Western education, but I have never liked it. I've always felt that every human being, regardless of gender or age, that demonstrates capacity to add value, should be given the opportunity to do so. This is where I value the uh, developed societies. I have a problem with their permissive parenting model, but I love the fact that they are willing to acknowledge a person, regardless of age or gender, for the most part, in terms of his or her ability. That's why you have child genocides, child celebrities in those parts of the world. And that's the problem I have with the photo. Because, you see, I do not believe that kneeling down to give your food, give food to your husband, proves that you love your husband or shows or accomplishes anybody you love your husband. It doesn't follow. We've known of people who wanted to poison their husband and still knelt down to give the food to their husband. And there was poison in the food already. 
We know of people who want to kill you and will be acting subservient all around you until they stab you to death. So my point is, the outward displays, which Africans seem to put so much emphasis on, is not necessary to prove loyalty or love. That's the first thing. The second thing is, the insistence on these kinds of things, sometimes you see that it's more of like, and I think it's like a kind of uh, ego tripping by those for whom it is done. So the man who wants and prefers that his wife serves him in that manner, usually it's an ego trip for them. You know, he makes them to feel like lords and all that. I don't have a problem with that you want to run your kingdom, your home. The thing is, to judge a woman by her willingness or the frequency at which she does that, to me, I think is wrong. A woman that doesn't um, go around kneeling down to all, to, to well, okay, to, to grown ups, to adults, of course. It's good for a woman to be an African woman. That's the way to train this. But to your husband, okay, if your husband is so much more advanced in age than you, of course. I mean, a woman that's married to a man that's about 20, 30, 40, even 10 years a senior in our culture, it does, it does, it's, it's okay. And that's what used to happen in the old days. These men would actually tend to marry younger wives. They may be the first wife would be the one that's around their age group, but the younger wives were much, much, much younger. And so naturally it followed. They would effectively be equivalent to their daughters. You know? And so it made sense. But what I'm saying is the man who is like five years older than his wife, or some of them are even the same age, then you, you say because your wife was too long, she has to go and kneel down. And I feel it's wrong. I feel you must look for ways to make your wife feel like an independent woman, a strong independent woman, to feel like um, someone that can be respected as well, that the children will not see her as being your footstool. That's the way I believe your wife should be. Even if your wife is much younger than you, there's a way you can treat your wife. She will show you the respect you deserve. And at the same time, she will have the respect of everybody around her, including you. But for you to insist that those physical displays of subservience are the requirement for her to prove she loves you, I think it's a reflection of your own state of mind. Like I said, if there's a huge difference in age in which you are older, then of course it's different for you as a man. But if that's not the case, then I don't see the need for it. That's what the other thing is this. Um, you know, so my argument is this. Respect is not something you demand. Respect is something you earn. And I prefer to earn respect. You see, when you earn respect, you can't lose it. The only way some people will begrudge you, but they will respect you. I prefer that. So what I'm trying to say is this. When it comes to respect, whether from your spouse or your children or anybody, I think it's better to earn it. Don't demand it. You can't demand respect. The only thing you can, <laughs> you can do <clears throat> is to instill fear to create an impression of respect. The problem with that is this. The day the fear goes away, the person should be never respected you. Because when people show respect to you because they are afraid of you, then they don't actually respect you. And I think that's like that. If you instill respect in the person by, by earning it, by acting in a way that makes the person to feel obligated, to feel that they have a duty to show respect to you, you will never have to fight or to threaten for the person to act with respect in dealing with you at all times. You know, just think about it. You see that I'm right. So what I, what I learned from experience in society as I grew up as an adult, that people who are afraid of you, the respect they show you is not respect. It's just fear. It's a reflection of the fear. They are afraid of what you can do to them, either physically or otherwise. Maybe you have somebody that can sack them, so they are afraid of you, they show you respect. But what if there was no possibility that you could sack them? What if this person did not owe you any chance, whatever, he or she did to you, not cause him any, any, any loss. Would the person still respect you? That's how you know you should have respect. You earn that kind of respect. I prefer to have that kind of respect. It takes time to get it. But the minute you get it, you can never lose it. Because the thing that makes the person respect you in that manner will be something that will remain in the person's mind forever. It's, it's based on integrity. And that's what a wife should have to a husband. And what that's what a husband should have to a wife. The difference is that because the wife has that integrity, she will recognize that she needs to acknowledge, okay, and accord the respect due to the husband in terms of his position in the home, and that the husband should be the head. Whether or not she has more money than him, she will give him that respect. But it's not because she's afraid of him and what he can do. It's because she actually believes that he deserves the respect. 
that risk cannot risk become common because you love the person. And if you love the person, you want to give the person, you want, to, you want to, the next person to have dignity in the way you relate with him. You won't be talking down to him, you know, and all that. So that's my position. For me, it's not so much about African culture. It's more about being a human being. How do you treat your fellow human being? Your wife is not your footman. Your wife is not your slave. Your wife is not your servant. She deserves to be honored and respected, not just in the privacy of your home, but anywhere you go. So how, we, and I don't believe our culture is like that. I believe our culture, the African culture from ancient Africa, dignifies women. But I think some of us have taken it too far. You know, that's why we have some abusive practices that apply to widows. It's the same thing. It's a reflection of the way we try to um, make women to be subservient, to, to dominate them. And I think it's wrong. And that's where I was coming from with regards to that photo. I hope it's understood. All right. Thanks for watching.